My special, special boy. Do you know what your gift is? No matter what they do to you, you cannot die. You can never die. You've just been sleeping, honey. But now, the time has come to wake up. Mommy has something she wants you to do. Rise up, Jason! Your work isn't finished! Hear my voice and live again! What happened? Why did you leave? Why does anyone leave? I let go, that's why. It's been that way for a long time. What did you let go of? A boy. And a girl. Your mom's got a twin. When she was very little, she had a brother, a twin brother. He ran in front of a car. It happened in about as much time as it takes for me to tell you. Is that why you left? I let go. I let go of everything. Oh, waiter. I'd like a finger bowl with mineral water for my Jeffrey. And more of this goose liver pate he likes so much. As you know, Captain, this is my third voyage with the Regent Queen. I just love it. Well, it's wonderful having you aboard again, Mrs. Hartman. And it's nice to see that you brought young Jeffrey. <laughs> Did you hear that, Jeffrey? <laughs> What's this? For Madam's dog. I distinctly requested a finger bowl. Jeffrey does not drink from a soup bowl. But, madam, I thought Captain, that... Captain, I don't think it's common for your staff to talk back to the guests. I wasn't back talking, lady. Wait up. Mrs. Hartman is quite right. A finger bowl for Jeffrey, please. Yes, I must say the food on board is absolutely exquisite. My meat was a little dry. <laughs> come on, come on, come to mommy. Jeffrey. Mommy loves you. Jeffrey, where are you? I'm getting tired, Jeffrey. Where are you? Come here. Edward. Paige, dear, you cannot allow one file to dominate your time. Each rule is in place to protect children and their social workers. I won't tolerate exceptions. Uh, Miss McCarthy, do you know anything about those Christmas lights? They seem to be electric. Yeah. They are. I'm sure Paige told you the rules concerning the house. You know, I'm duty bound to act in the best interests of the children. Under the circumstances, the law is very clear. I have no choice but to certify this house as habitable for you and three young children. Look, we live in a bullshit time. Organic vegetables, pesticides make you strong. Write it down. Mom, <laughs> give me a steak and some A1 sauce any time of the week. Bottled water. <laughs> From the tap to my scotch, and that's how I'm drinking it. You should be running for office. I should. It would be fun. Sign a few bills, get picked up for work in a big car, have a driver with a hat. He'd have to be cute, too. I I've seen a lot of John Holmes films. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, getting old ain't so bad, you know. Everyone wants to give you a second chance. Little do they know. You're after the paper boy? And the limo driver. Great. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anything exciting? Ah, uh, nothing for me. Just a bunch of stuff for Megan and Dave. How are you doing? Same old, same old. Okay, well, have a good day. Make them remember me, Jason. Make them remember what fear tastes like! 